Well, good morning, everybody. How's it going? Well, I'm on my way to pick up a straight header for the other New Holland Combine. And I'll have two. Uh, I've been trying to locate a 930 or 925 for the John Deere, but there's not a lot out there that's in decent shape. There's a lot out there that are not so decent shape, but and a few out there that uh, don't have movers. Oh, look at these guys. They got some decent crops around here. I'm in the I'm about three and a half hours from home south Westlock County. And I shouldn't really be filming, but they got some crops here, boy. They got a lot of rain here. And their crops are quite heavy. You can tell some of this wheat was combined. They got a lot of barley around here. Swats, well actually that's straight combine. I've seen some swats here that are just huge. See uh, this this barley right here. It's all it's all half of it's lodged. So semi-lodged I should say. But that look that's a hundred and some bushel crop right there. Barley. Yeah, you got really good soil around here. Good land. So yeah, I'm off to pick up the, I thought it's a 30 foot header for the New Holland. So I'll show you more when I get her hooked up. Well, I'm hooked up with the header. Can't see it there, but whatever. See it there. Look at that canola. Man, these guys should got a lot of straw around here. Well, guys got a goose neck, same as me. Don't mind my cracked windshield. It's pretty rare that you get a side window that cracks. That's an expensive one to fix. Anyway, yeah, I finally found the place. And uh, I'm kind of taking the back roads home. Um, I kind of didn't want to go on the... Well, I didn't want to go back the way I came because it's the long way around. I'm taking a shortcut now and I haven't been this way in quite a long time. I think the last time I was this way was when I bought the, the, the 2096 case tractor. I came through here. And uh, if I recall, the road was not bad. And so far it's not bad. But you can see the trees are changing. Oh, look at all that straw. Heavy crops around here, man. Nice crops. They got all the rain. Oh, this guy's bailing right now. Some people got fall work done already. This is already tilled. Or was this uh, some kind of hay? I don't know. This guy's bailing right here. Can't see the trees. Oh, no. This is breaking. Fresh ground here. Yeah, it's nice to kind of come a different way and look at all the different farms instead of going the same route that you go all the time. I'm doing about 80 kilometers. Those are only farm implement tires on there. They're not actual trailer tires. So I felt them there. The rubber is getting a little bit warm. Bearings are nice and cold. But I got two spares with me, so... In case I blow one. The, the tires themselves are not bad, so. See there, uh, oh, this this is pretty low land here. Look at that peat moss. Sometimes it grows a crop and sometimes it doesn't grow. Oh, that canola looks okay. You can see there's still a lot of green in there. Looks like they're leaving it to straight cut, but gonna have to spray those greens out if they didn't already or else they'll be waiting a long time see they're putting a pipeline in through here on the main highway I passed a bunch of pipeline guys kind of wrecked a lot of crop with that pipeline pushing all the topsoil over and then digging and then putting it back so comes a sign I better look at my map here 
Yeah. Going across here. Oh, they got the pipe right across here. Well, crap, you can't see it. There was pipe in the field there, you can see. Oh, well. Kind of hilly country here. Lots oh, of pasture and hayland here. Yeah, as well as cropland, but it's kind of more of, it's kind of like cattle country around here. The, the hilly areas aren't too uh, good for crops, so better to grow hay on them than pasture cows. A lot of people doing second cut. I, I bet you this was like third cut maybe. Some places it didn't grow too much again. Oh, a lot of straw over there. Holy smokes. That's a lot of straw. Well, that field there would do me all winter. Whereas I had to, uh, had to bale three fields of straw to get that same amount. Nice. Hey, check this out. There he comes. Freaking window. I've actually not never been that close to the dairy farm to see the dairy cows. That's cool. Well, after miles and miles of bush here, I'm finally getting back into the farms. A little bit. All hay land here, cows. We're still kind of in the middle of nowhere, but. But it's about two hours later. I uh, oh, oh, still a little bit tired. Probably have another energy drink. I tried an energy drink for the first time ever. It kind of worked. Didn't feel tired, but now I feel tired again. But uh, I checked the header, the wheels, tires are a little bit warm, but uh, they're managing. A little bit rough this highway. It's kind of better now. I was pretty fortunate I was on smooth road all the way until here. But after I get off this highway I'll be on a smooth pavement for the, mo for the most part all the way home. So, so far so good. Well just about back in town. Guys are combining like crazy. Cat combines, Vexens. Well, that's a that's a green cart and a half. Hey everyone, how's it going today? Well, we're finally in full swing here after I brought that header which is right there now I had to uh, uh, the fittings wouldn't fit in the hydraulic fittings which I don't know why must be the older TRs have a different hydraulic fitting than the newer ones then we found out the real speed uh, switch is not working fully it slows it down but not quite enough so I need one of those, so we're just running it. It's a little bit too fast, but and Sean's over there on the other TR9. a lot shorter over here. The uh, oats are shorter. Yeah, it's about a good in some places and bad in some others. It is right this part right here. Depends on the depends on the field. Where it is. This is kind of crappy right here. Sean, can you pick a spray track over there someplace and cut trees? Yeah, it's right here. 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 Right here.
my bleed is busted there on that side, so I'm going to try to keep it to the other side. And we got one blade busted, and I don't have any blade. So this way I don't. I'll have to get some tomorrow. Doesn't, because it doesn't cut. Definitely tell which one has better paint. The one that was kept inside a shed all the time. Just need the deer here with the 30 foot header. That bin looks tiny on camera. So I'm filling up these 2200 bushel bins with oats because I want to save the big bins for wheat. So the only thing is the way I have my bins here I'm gonna run out of room to drive the truck. Well, this truck will be okay in a Kenwood though. A lot longer. Especially when I get back there, because I'm gonna fill all these with oats. That's where the tandem comes in handy. sure tell this is a 10 inch auger and not the 13 makes a difference so yeah the header header's working all right uh, the guy is a nice fellow that I bought it from he's a Dutch fellow nice guy um, he gave me a bunch of parts for new teeth and everything to fix it the headers headers good the combine, I don't know. Still finding a bunch of quirks with it. Um, the air conditioning wiring is a little bit something, something from the top of the cab there to the switch to the to the relay behind the seat. So we just got our hot wired. We come to find out this combine has no lateral float switch all the new Hollands that we've had have two hydraulic cylinders on each side and you can like for a rigid header that's good to be able to, to change it like that one does our old where's the old 96 straight behind me there that one has it the old 96 at home this one has just turnbuckles what kind of bullshit is that so I don't know With that auger being crazy and that and air conditioning and like it's the shape of the combine is good but just a bunch of little quirks in it oh plus the like I said before the the uh, real speed uh, switch is kind of wonky there too so that's that happens in these things though So we are dropping straw with just this combine and the other one's chopping so this land needs a lot of straw input in it with how dry it's being and everything and this land always being drier than anywhere else like it can take a lot of short rains like like on a flood of year it's no good but it, like you can have a rain here every two weeks or even a week when it's hot out. Oh yeah, the pump on this is, the fuel pump on here is crazy too. And that's kind of common for the uh, 7.5 uh, New Holland engines. Um, anyway, so yeah, the neighbor wanted some straw, so we, we decided to drop a, one combine drop and the other one will drop. Um, last year when I had cannoli here, this side was all just stubble. I, what was it before? Can't remember now. Oh, peas. 
yeah peas and then I had to summer follow this because it was uh, too wet to seed and uh, the other side I had that barley that I couldn't get it got snowed on and that was it for it so I dissed it all down and I had the best canola crop on that stuff this side was quite poor the drought so I want to chop as much straw in here as I can, but I kind of didn't like to put the guy in a, in a, you know, in a bind, being sh short of straw. I know what that's like, so, you know. So I'm selling him some straw here, so. If he can get straw, chop straw, chop straw, chop straw. You get what I'm saying. I'm riding with Sean in the TR99, number one, I guess. We're just making our way down here. Uh, there is a lot of elk damage. It's just like a herd of cows walking in here, laying down, walking all over the place here. It's always bad in this end of the field for elk and deer. You see there's a lot of oats left on the ground them uh, trampling it. So that's no good. That's like uh, wildlife damage right there. Should inform them. I got wildlife damage here before. Look at all those spots where they're laying down. You would think it was like a herd of cows in here. I don't know why they like this end of the field so much. Coming on back, right Sean? And if we could have got more rain here too. Another two and a half inch, three inches would have been really good. But what can you do? I say I had canola here last year, it was poor. Poor, poor. 